right. Well, the situation is we all spent five bucks on Age of Goddamn Booty. And step one, step one, we sign, we download the game through Steam, right? Steam, which has a matchmaking service, right? So what we do after that is we go and and we try to sign in and it's like oh no you need an ign account and i'm like oh god i've had problems with ign before if you go to my twitter twitter.com slash cake bandit you'll see it and so i actually get signed into my account like this is crazy like i go for a password reset and it happens and i get one and smash registers one and that's all fine but you know what tommy can't sign into his and apparently his email doesn't exist despite the fact that i played borderlands one with him which also went through GameSpy, which is what you will find that I'm bitching about on Twitter. However, then we got to multiplayer. We got all signed in. Everything's hunky-dory. We go to internet. We go to private game, and we try to create one, right? And there's, there's, there's this button, and it says, invite comrades. Now, I'm drunk. I will admit to that right now. But what I see is a well-painted illustration of a parchment. And on it, it says, comrades. And it has two friends. Hold on. Let me interrupt for a second. Let me interrupt for one second because I'm having this experience right now. I hit register and I type in a username that I'm sure I have not used before, my email address, and a password. And it says you cannot register this combination. So then I say, okay, sign in. I type in my email address and a password. It says, this is incorrect. I go to forgot my password. It says the email is not registered. What the shit? What? Oh, okay, so so Lion can't even register. And Smash and I are looking at the screen. It's like, comrades, invite some friends. Well, neither of the people on this list own this game. Well, I've got a friend on Skype who's recording this right now, staring at the same game. And you know what doesn't exist? A button that says, add comrade. Because I would like to add his account to invite him to a game to actually play it. <clears throat> I'd like to take this opportunity to show everybody exactly what my my uh, my good associate here is talking about. So let's let's go into Steam here. Uh, and you'll be able to see this. And at the top of my list, just just a second, is Age of Booty. So let's fire up the game. Uh, don't show me the key code again. Which, by the way, I had to type this code in at least two different times. Twice. Preparing to launch Age of Booty. Please, just silence if if you may. <laughs> I know no, you're upset. I'm gonna <laughs> All right. right now, my computer is having. Okay, we're launching Age of Booty. Uh... It's really loud, so let me just mess around with the mixer here, real quick. Uh, volume issues, in addition to this shitty networking service. Okay, just powered by GameSpy, as you can see right here, which is... <laughs> Ooh, dear. That is really loud. Okay. So, as you can see, we have a, uh, a button right here that says multiplayer, as you can see here. Uh, let's zoom in on that just a little bit. So, multiplayer. Click we'll click, click on this. Not signed in. Okay, don't worry. Sign in to GameSpy. It didn't remember you. Uh, it it did it did, but we'll see what happens here. So I've got two options: internet and LAN. We'll choose internet. Uh, private game because we're all friends here. We just want to have a nice private fun time and, and enjoy our beverages while playing this game. Uh, ah! invite comrades down here on the side. Comrades, and this is a blank piece of parchment that, while I click on it seems to do absolutely nothing but make a smashing noise and there's one option on this uh, comrades parchment back now now i'm kind of a pretentious son of a bitch and i kind of like to think that i know a little bit about both ui design and game design and the emotional impact of games like this now the emotional impact and the implication that the developers have made here is that you have no friends outside of this game and also that Steam does not exist, nor does it have an ex exceedingly comprehensive matchmaking service, and or would have been better for this game than GameSpy would ever have been, considering... I just what want to put on the record that I went to GameSpy, 
reset my password for my email, set a new password, and now when I go to GameSpy, it says sign in through IGN, and I give it my email and the password that I just created, and it says no. So, yeah, even that's broken. Even the part that's not affiliated with games. Because <laughs> GM is a review service. <coughs> God! Hey, hey um... It's <clears throat> <up> hard. <coughs> is, is IGN's tag on Twitter just uh, IGN? No, no, you want to go with at GameSpy. But at GameSpy doesn't deal with the technical problems. You have to go to at GameSpy Tech, which is a special little window for bitching so that they can keep all of the shit that is awful off of their main page where their happy, smiling face of fuck you consumer is actually at. Fuck them. I bitch to their main Twitter. God. Like, I, I, I okay, I honestly, when I got... When I was kind of drunk and I was trying to play with Antoids and I was trying to play games, I was trying to play Borderlands 1. Like, I bought this. This is a game that I purchased in a four pack for all of my friends on Steam, assuming that I would be able to play through Steam. But no, no, it goes through GameSpy. Not that that's ever mentioned on the store page. Steam, fix that. But I try to sign in and I can't. I ended up having to make a second, a second account through my same email address, but by the way, if you use your email address twice, it says, oh no, this is already registered, but it won't let you reset the password. No! So I had to include a period in my, u my email address, an extra one, so that it would think that it's a different email, but it still end up the same place. So I technically have two GameSpy accounts, one of which I can access for some godforsaken reason. And it, it goes deeper. It goes deeper than this. I, I thought I was being a different... Like I, I looked on, I looked at the tweets, and, games by account. and I thought to myself, "Cake Manit, you were kind of hard on GameSpy. You were sort of rude. I mean, I can understand why you didn't actually get any help because you really were being offensive, and you worked in technical support for a phone company with no real training because Verizon is awful. By the way, Verizon, you suck too. And then this shit happened." I give them a second chance. I spend $5 on a game that uses their service. I Admittedly, I was 10% into the download by the time that I found out from one of my buddies here. But here we are again in a completely unusable, reprehensible, sack of shit situation. Why? What is this? How do you fuck up this hard when even Origin, you play, Steam, fucking I'm sure Desura does this better. And they're goddamned indie. You're supposed to be professional, IGN! What is this? Why? Who are you? Masked man who sucks at video games? Ah! Okay, I'm done.